Oh, oh my, my goodness. goodness. <sighs> you enjoying it? Yeah. All right, we're getting to the good part now. Well, they're all good, but we're, we're getting, getting down to the part where they come out in their their fanciest gown. And I put fancy in quotes because it technically is up to them what they consider fancy. Um, as I said seven years ago or so, um, our fancy ballroom gown was a black and feathery and it was very different but hey you know it is what it is it's pretty cool so everybody i i am so amazed at uh, all this stuff that's talent that's on the stage so now they get to come out in their fancy ballroom gowns and um answer a question and we have four questions in a wig over here that i'm going to grab and the the miss woods contestants are going to pick a, a random question that was there are four questions made by the judges, um, put in this wig, and they're going to pick them at random. And they're going to answer that question. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes from there. So I'm going to bring out Debera to show off her, give a little strut first, and show off her, uh, her gown. How you doing, Tabera? Oh, we'll get it on. It's they, they turn on there. Try again. Hello? Yeah. Come on up here in the center. We want everybody to be able to see you good. You look fabulous. How you doing? I'm doing wonderful. First Miss Woods comp competition. Awesome. So here we go. You're going to reach in the old wig there. Pick a good one. No, not that one. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. Um, here, I'll, I'm going to read the question to you. And then, uh, yeah, you answer it. All right, okay. The question is, how long have you been a fan of Heidi Ho and why? <laughs> Actually, um, I've been a fan ever since I met her. Um, I met you. <laughs> um, I started coming in 2011. Um, a couple of friends of mine from Delaware came up and were like, oh, we're going camping. I'm like, oh, I've never been. So they brought me up here. I came up two bears um, that year. Found um, year, two more bears. That's when I met you. So 2012. So it's been four, four years. Four years. Why and why? Why? Um, <laughs> I'm calling her out now. I like this. It's about me. <laughs> um, because you're hysterical. You know how to entertain everybody. Everybody loves you. And I one day hope to be able to be somewhat like you, but not overtake you. Thank you, Debera. That's a wonderful answer. Just because it's about me, I like it even more. <laughs> All right, awesome. Thank you for coming and participating. One last twirl. All right. She's going to hand the microphone off to. Our next contestant, Maxine Chambers. Come out and show your dress off, Maxine. Train girl, how you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? Good. Awesome. Oh, it's good to see you. Yeah, good to see you too. Thank I love you. the purple and pink there. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. All right, you ready to reach into this wig? Ooh. <laughs> it's one of yours, I can tell. Actually, it's not. All right, let's see what this one is. All right, thank you. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. As Miss Woods, what would you want to do that has never been done before? I think some farmers have done that. As Miss Woods, what I would like to do that's not been done before is to bridge the gap at the woods between each and every person here. We want everyone to feel comfortable. It doesn't matter if you're gay, bisexual, transgender, into leather, into rubber, any fetish. We want you to be welcome here and know that you have a home. 
And if given the honor of the title, Miss Woods, I would do everything possible to promote that, bring them here, and personally make sure they were welcome and had a good time. Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you. You look nice too. All right. All right. One last twirl. Thank you, Maxine. All right. Next up, we have Gloria Holt. Come on out, Gloria. Show us what you got. Step on up here. In the spot. Like, Ooh, I should have my sunglasses on. You're all sparkles. All right, you want to really reach in on there and pick out that question? There's only two left. All right. Here we go. How are you doing tonight? Great. Awesome. It's good to see y'all sparkly. I can't open it. Paper, the new, the new invention. Okay, when you were a child, what was your dream for the future? When I was a child, I actually just wanted to bring everybody together. I grew up in the country where people didn't have all the issues then that they have now. I mean, it was a simpler life, and I think we really need to get back to some of those basics of um, courtesy and respect for each other. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, Gloria. Very nice. How are you doing? I'm doing fabulous, Heidi. And how are you guys doing tonight? Yes, freezing your butts off. I can see my own breath. Bitch, I was like burning up my ass. I was like, fuck, that is not true. I'm chilling. And I apologize for that damn smoke, everyone. My apologies. <laughs> On that, hey, we it's you know, it's, it's stuff we learn. I think it, it is great. Yeah. Yeah. Now we know, don't do that again. Roll with the punches, <laughs> or maybe do it again. Do it again. <laughs> Fuck up the next girl. I was just hoping another girl was behind me. That was my that was my plan the whole time. I get to read Fuck. it. I get to read it. <laughs> I'm not good at reading anyway. It's fine. I'll read a bitch, but I don't know how to read a card. <laughs> well, this one's a short one. Okay. Tell us your favorite joke. Okay, well that's pretty easy, seeing I do stand-up comedy. Um, it's not really a joke. Let me just tell a story, how about that? So I'm from Pennsylvania, as many of you are, and did anyone realize a little bit too late in life that they might be white trash? Like a little bit too late? Like if, and it, raise your hand if you think you're white trash. Okay, like five people right now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you know if you're white trash, okay? You ever put eat scrapple at any point in your life? You fucking white trash. I'm sorry, that's a white trash shit. You ever sleep with somebody for their free air conditioning? I've done it. I'm not saying prostitution is good, but I will sleep with somebody for some damn air conditioning. You white trash. You ever put ice cubes in your box wine? Ma'am. White trash. <laughs> She just has a box of wine at the table, bitch! Your white trash. That's my favorite joke, my white nice. trash. Me being, me being a hot mess white trash bitch. Thank you so much, Heidi, for having me, and thank you, our distinguished panel of judges. Well, and now everybody knows that they, uh, they want to meet you, just turn on some air conditioning. Say, some air conditioning and some crap, scrapple, bitch. I will be there. I will suck your dick for some scrapple. Bye, guys. All righty.